Hi, my name is Corey Gerard, and I am here to tell everybody the differences between feeling love for someone or something and feeling a, an attachment for someone or something. Now, there are many that believe that love and attachment are one and the same, or many believe that feeling love for someone or something is the same thing as feeling an attachment for someone or something. Now let me just get off into a person feeling love for a person who is certainly significant to that person. Now if a person feels love, that means that that person has a strong sentiment feeling or sentimental feeling towards that person which is completely selfless because that person cares for someone without it necessarily being reciprocated back at that person and to say in a lot of cases or in some cases someone might feel strongly towards another person which is love or what classifies as love, but it might not be reciprocated back at that person. And in some cases, a person might be madly in love with a person and they might be getting treated horrible and terrible by that person. So that's a main indicator that love is something which is selfless. Now it's all fine and dandy, if you love someone and they love you back and they are showing you that they love you 100%, but a lot of times that ain't the case. But rather, somebody feels a strong sentiment towards another, which is love, and they are not receiving that back by that person. But they still love that person anyway who isn't showing the same sentimental feelings towards them or expressing that same very love in which they um, have for that person who is significant. Now let's get off into attachments. Now people think that feeling an attachment towards somebody is love, but it's not. So let me explain why. Now if you are attached to something or you feel a strong attachment to something, then it ain't necessarily selfless because that attachment might do more for you than you would do for that thing or that person that you are attached to. For example, you might have a lucky shirt or a lucky pair of pants or you might uh, be attached to this new watch or necklace that you bought. Because, you know, you like that necklace, you like that watch, it look good on you. You get compliments from people by wearing those pieces of jewelry. So you're looking like, wow, people really appreciate me for this watch or this necklace. I like it. Then you might misplace it. You might be like, wow, or you misplace both of them. You're like, hey, where's my watch? Where's my necklace? I can't leave without it. Because they appreciate me for this and I look real nice in that. So those th items are doing more for you or express or just say you're not expressing a sentiment towards that particular or those particular jewelry pieces because they give you something which empowers you and which makes you feel proud. And that ain't love. Another example, you might have a car that's real nice and shiny and you drive around, then you, then your, your wife or your girlfriend might remark, you love that car more than you love me. And, and that ain't, that ain't love to say they are, um, misunderstanding the whole thing. That person doesn't love that car, but rather they are attached to it because they feel appreciated by others because of that. Now with love, you know, love, you want to be appreciated for loving a person and you you only mainly want to be appreciated from that person that you love and 
very much. You don't care how others appreciate the fact that you love that person because it will not do anything to really make you empowered or make you proud, such as with an item or a thing like a piece of jewelry or a car. But they say if you love that person, if you're in love, you want all the love expressed back from that person onto you. And you don't you do not care what other people think about it or how they feel. Just say like you would a uh, an item or a thing which is not um something that you can possibly love at all, but rather you can only be attached to. And that uh, explains why that love and attachment are two different things rather than them being one and the same. So again, this is Corey Gerard. Thanks for tuning in for this lesson. And peace out. And until the next time.